Welcome to another episode of Numsoli Explains. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the randomizer element in Campaign Logger. I hope you find it useful. Now let's get to it. Today, we're going to go over the randomizer in Campaign Logger. It's a fairly useful tool that you can use to make your own random tables. And it has a few built-in nifty ideas, uh, seeds, that kind of stuff that you can use, name generators, that sort of thing. Uh, if you look over here on the right, you will see the uncategorized stuff. And you can see here there's demon names, heroes of the realms, whispers and bars, lots of different stuff. And you can see here, if you uh, click on it, it will generate something at random. If you don't like it, you can just hit refresh and it will give you different ones to choose from. You can then copy it to the clipboard, close it, and then add a new, if you want to add a note, you can then do that. Uh, I would put an at sign in front of it so that you would tag it, so that you can then link it, and then you can make your own little notes about that. Uh, whispers in a bar is fun. Uh, you can see here it's got a fairly interesting seed. Uh, that you can spin into a thread into your campaign. Uh, Heroes of the Realm, if you need a quick NPC. Uh, gives you some basic ideas. Uh, encounter Seeds are really cool there. Uh, what if a lieutenant informed the players that they've been constricted in the armies? Uh, obviously, this is for their own campaign, but you can substitute your own names there. Uh, I like the town rumors. Uh, that's obviously, since it says embossers, well, then that can be in any size town. Uh, you can do random NPCs where it gives you the appearance, how to portray them, and then the hook. Uh, they need to work on getting the uh, pronouns matching, but uh, maybe they're go by a, a uh, she. And then you can do random villagers, uh, villages, not villagers. They do have villagers in there. So that's how you use the tool that's built in. Now in here, you can create and manage generators, and this will take you over to the generator UI. Now let me get logged in. And then we'll be right back. Well, we're logged in now. Now it uses the same account that you use to log into uh, Campaign Logger. That's uh, a shared account for all of John Four stuff, uh, except for his Discord. As you can see here, there's a private library. We can we can create a new one, new generator, and you can see here it starts out with a YAML. You can also use JSON. If you're more familiar with that, personally, I prefer to use the form. And then you can do a description, a sample uh, path. Uh, we got just different ones. Uh, we will do this and we will do this and we will add a, a test and then that'll add the test in there. We will add a new table so you can have name, explanation, you can do uh, key values. You can see here, you can do Adam, Eve, all that stuff, new table. You define your new table and then key values and then define the value. That's how you create a new table generator in Campaign Logger. There you go. We've now dove into the randomizer feature of Campaign Logger. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, if you have a favorite feature in Campaign Logger, please let me know in the comments if you use that. Or maybe you've used a different tool, a, a similar tool that you would like uh, to share with the community. I would appreciate that that uh, helps me learn more of what's out there. Maybe I'll do an episode on it in the future. Uh, but until then, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, keep on gaming. Hopefully you'll find this useful. If not, 
Well, maybe the next one you will. Until then, happy gaming.